Hello there, welcome back to Wood Turner's Journal. Uh, today we're going to be working on a urn and I'm making it out of this piece of black walnut that um, has been basically rounded off probably six months ago and it's been sitting around drying and now that it's uh, been drying it's not perfectly round anymore so I have it mounted on the lathe and I'm just going to really quickly um, get it back to a, a, a nice sphere. So the CERN is obviously going to have a lid and for order, in order for me to do that I'm going to take off, I don't know, I think that's probably a pretty good size. Now that we have that off for the lid, um, I have a basic idea of what I want to do um, this will be the base down here that will be the opening over here I'm gonna have a little bit of a lip because um, I want the lid to basically slide over it and uh, fit on snug so let's just start fooling around and uh, we'll shape this um, you know my idea may change as we go but I have a basic gist of what I think I want it to look like I'm not worried about all these cracks in here. Um, I think I have a cool idea of what I'm gonna do with that. But it'll be all filled in.
There's little tiny cracks in here I'm trying to get rid of. Just fill them in. So here we are. I filled in all the little cracks down here that weren't a big deal, but I have these big cracks in here. Now I have a couple choices. I could either continue filling it in with glue and sawdust um, from the shavings, or I decided that I'm going to fill it in with crushed red coral that I bought off online. I've never done this before, so um, bear with me. I've uh, watched other people do it and I've read about it, so we'll see how it comes out. But the first step is just taking uh, some CA glue and filling in the rock and, and putting the CA glue over it and letting it dry, sanding it, and then putting more layers of it until it's completely filled. So let's try it. We'll let it dry for a few minutes and then I'll sand it off. Let's try sanding it off. I may use my chisel.
I'm liking it. Any little crack in this section, I'm just going to take this chisel and kind of go a little bit deeper with it. could see that it's just a nice little random accent of pink popping through and I'm contemplating filling these rings with the stone as well I think it would look really really nice so I think I'm gonna try to do it So next I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here. I'm going to take 60 grit sandpaper and, and wear it all the way down and then kind of just get it flush and sand it down. And then when we come back, that'll be done and we'll be hollowing the whole thing out. Here we are, I finished up the stone inlay on this section. And now um, it's still a little wet. So I'm actually going to drill this out and I'm going to let it dry for about a week. So, and uh, I'll drill this out and then I'm probably going to um, put a couple coats of uh, tongue oil just to, to slow down the drying on the outside. So, I'll show you the drilling out process. There we are, that's about good. So I'm going to I'm gonna cover this in tongue oil and I'm going to let this inside dry for about a week. And uh, when we come back, we'll be hollowing it out. Here we are. Um, it's actually been drying for a few weeks. It's, it's moved very little, believe it or not. I think that the tongue oil helped. So now I'm going to try, um, basically start hollowing out the inside of this.
Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to stick with that. Next, all I'm going to do is sand down the inside of this, the outside here. Um, put a few coats of tongue oil in there, let it dry. And then when we come back, we'll polish it up. So here we are. I uh, got done putting the tongue oil and everything and finishing the inside of the urn. And now we are going to buff and polish the outside. This is my first time ever using this. I just got it. Um, some people online commented, you know, um, that there was better ways to finish my projects. And um, I actually went and saw somebody else use one of these and the results were amazing. So I decided to get one myself. So here we go. We'll, uh, we'll start doing it. the piece that I cut off in the beginning for the lid and um, so we need to shape this into the lid and the reason I finished did all the finishing and everything of the, of the main part of this first was because I want the top to this to fit inside the lid and it to be a really tight fit so I wanted to make sure that this was completely finished and done so I could make the proper um, recess basically in here so it will fit nice and snug. some slight cracks in this so I'm gonna take some CA glue just kind of fill them a little bit So I'm going to show you a little woodworking trick. Um, I know most woodturners use CA glue all the time to fill in cracks 
and whatnot. And I do when they're major cracks or I know I'm going to still um, kind of chisel away material. But you see this wood is has little minor cracks throughout it and this chatter and everything else. How I get rid of that. I just put wood glue in there, rub it in, work it in all the cracks, and then take end grain shavings and work it into the cracks. You're basically you're making your own wood filler. Keep doing, I'm going to keep doing it all the way around and then I'll sand it and you'll never know. And then when you finish it, the, the wood grain, the, the shavings came from this wood so it should blend perfectly and nobody will know that those were there. Problem with CA glue, CA glue is a lot harder than your wood material and sanding it down even is is a pain so to finish your cracks like that um, and making sure that the CA glue because most of the time it wants to stick out when you put your your oil finishes or your polyurethane you'll see a, a difference but I find this always seems to work for me no problem all right here we are I want to do another coral inlay right here I decided so I'm gonna curve this round it a little bit and get that groove right in here and we'll do another inlay I think that will tie it all together So here we are, it's filled in, it's dried, and now I just take a skew chisel and basically rough out the pink coral there. So there's still cracks and holes. You gotta go back and put down more. Okay, here we are. It's about dry. I'm going to take this lightly to it, my skew chisel again, just kind of flatten it out. And I would like to say also, if you're doing this, you should probably be wearing um, some kind of gloves when you're handling the glue and touching the stone and everything else. Um, once again, I'm a Momo, so I didn't wear gloves and now I have glue on my fingers and stone on it, but um, I'm not really that worried, but just for future reference if you're doing this at home Definitely wear some gloves Okay, so now this is the the top part of it. The other part was the bottom So I want this to kind of look like a crown. I have an idea of what I I want in my head so I will start gonna be kind of hard this is end grain and end grain wants to chip out 
I just have to be really careful. I'm going to continue to sand all this and I'm going to put more of the pink coral inlay right there on the top and then uh, cover it with tongue oil, polish it like I did the other one and, uh, and we come back, I'll show you how I fit the lid. So here we are, the urn is complete, everything's polished up and before I get any comments about my lid. I could have done a really small, just a cap that you would see on a traditional, um, but I really like this lid. I wanted to do it like a, uh, like I said, like a crown and kind of emphasize it. So all in all, I really love it. I think it came out great. It was uh, worth all the time that I spent uh, into it. And to get the lid to fit nice and snug and stay on, I lined the inside with uh, cork and all it is is contact paper you could get at any kind of like hardware store they have it's usually for drawers and there's it's double sided with uh, um, like a stick you know a stick them on there and I also put a, a few dabs of CA glue just to make sure that it stays but now the lid goes on really nice and snug and it's gonna stay on so thank you for watching my video um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, leave any comments or any suggestions that uh, you would like to see. Check out my um, check out my website, woodturnersjournal.com, and thank you for watching. <laughs>